something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms. Check it out. Vavor sent me another really cool little multi-use welder. That's the MMA 200. It's a stick welder, but it also does something uh, that I've never had on a welder before. It's a plastic welder as well. It's like welds in uh, plastic staples, which is a really cool thing to have if you've got cars. You know, a lot of modern cars, their bumpers are plastic, tail, uh, tail light assemblies obviously are plastic, but like there's a lot of the surrounds and stuff that have become plastic. The garbage is the, the official word for that, but <clears throat> we'll pretend that's not the case, that they're not cheapening up stuff. Vavor, on the other hand, they've come up with a solution to the stuff that the manufacturers are putting out, and that's this welder. So it's the MMA200. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out. We'll lay it out. We'll take a look at it, and we will see if we can put a bead out on it. Very small. Very nice. Okay. So we'll go ahead and unpack this stuff. This looks like it would be our ground rod or ground connection here. And this right here. Oh no, that's our ground. That is uh, for our stick. That's a nice little kit. And yeah, here's what I was talking about. So we have this, right? got two little holes in there and it does come with a whole bunch of staples eight millimeter wave staples or 0.8 millimeter wave staples you put those in you weld them this heats up those staples you press down into the plastic not all the way through obviously but just enough to get started you pull back you can either fold over or snip off the legs that come off of it and you have created a like a stitch it's like putting stitches into broken plastic so these are um, fairly new technology at least for the consumer. And I, I think that's a really cool thing that they've come up with there. Another cool thing about this is that it is also 120 and 240 volt. So you can run this off of regular household current or you can plug it into a big boy. So it comes with a big 220 amp. It also comes with just a regular 120 converter so the plug on the back of this thing is just 120 all right on the back on the back we've got a nice fan here and we've got it looks like a semi waterproof anyway on off switch and on the front mma 200 from favor i love the uh, colors they use that bright orange kind of reminds me a little bit of home depot but i get it it's it's kind of a cool color there's everybody has a color craftsman's got red cobalt blue so on and so forth. So I think that's uh, that's neat that they picked this color combo. It certainly is not a bad one. Reminds me of the Dukes of Hazards a little bit. So it looks like when we plug this thing in, we'll have some lights, um, the, the little LEDs, hot start, arc force, current. So we're gonna have a digital display here, it looks like. And then we have a minimum and maximum, and then we have an up and down. That probably cycles through the different options, plus and minus, and for our stapler. And to round it off, it's got a nice little carrying handle. This thing doesn't weigh, but, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 pounds at most. 20 pounds probably with all the doodads and accessories. And it did, of course, come with a nice manual. Let's take a quick look at that. And then we'll get out there and try to lay a bead. Also thought it was pretty nice of them. They included one welding rod, which I've, of all the welders I've reviewed, I've never had one that included rods. I do have welding sticks, but it's nice that they were kind enough to include one. All right, stick welder. This again, the MMA 200. So there's different sizes here. We have the 200. Got some precautions. The principle of welding. It's kind of nice. And here we go with currents, right? So the 200 being the most powerful, 43 amp impulse, uh, 220, 40 amp. And so duty cycle is 30, 40%. So the 30 to 40% has to do with... Um, the uh, you know how long you're going to run it versus how long it needs to cool back off. Hot start, arc force, VDR, all these things are what it has available on it, which is nice. Operation, thermal protection, don't exceed the duty cycle. We don't want to break anything, obviously. 
welding rod grade and diameter depends on the nature of the material, the thickness of the weld, and so on and so forth. Then it gives you some some uh, specs. So size of the well or size of the steel, diameter of the electrode, and there's a switch button on it um, for the electric staple. Looks like there's a heat a button there to heat it up and put it on, which is pretty cool. Although I don't have anything to staple today, that's kind of the part that I'm most interested in playing with down the road. Yes, yeah, as uh, you heat it up, you put it in your, your stitching and then you can grind it off using a sander or paint if you want a more even uh, surface. So melt it in, cut it flush, sand it a little bit, maybe use some body filler if you need to, and then paint over it. And that's about as good a repair as you're going to get. I would recommend that if I were going to do it, I would be uh, melting it from the backside. So take your fender off. Put your stitches on the inside so that you're hiding most of the damage and on the outside you're just looking at maybe a real thin coat of something to hide the crack pretty cool and then some troubleshooting awesome well i love playing with tools so what we're going to do next is we're going to take this thing over and i've got a piece of steel that's all polished up uh, that i polished with another vivor tool and I'm going to hit it with a stick welder and see how well it works on, that's pretty thin steel. It might burn through it or might warp it, but I'm not the greatest with welders, but I do have some experience with stick welding. So hopefully we don't screw it up too bad. Let's do it. All right, well, here's all our goodies. I'm about ready. I've got it set to 80 amps. I'm gonna put my helmet on, I'm gonna put my gloves on and we'll see how well she does. Wow, very nice. Yep, <laughs> a little burn through. Let me shut this off. Okay, pretty thin steel I'm working with here. But check it out. It's actually really nice. And I burned through a little spot there, but you can see that's that's really like sixteenth of an inch maybe. And uh, look at that nice bead. That laid a really nice bead, both both times. I had it started over here. I had the helmet on. Didn't see the rust that was still over there. But once I got into the clean area of this, where I had polished it off. A really nice work. Yeah, I'm so much better with a stick welder than I am with flux core, and uh, and it shows. <laughs> I remember how to lay a bead. My my automotive instructor back when I was a teen taught me how to work with a stick welder. So that's about all I ever did. But um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to say about it. It's the Vavor MMA 200. It does also have that plastic welding ability, and I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a keeper right there. So I've got Vavor's uh, plasma cutter, which also has worked out extremely well. And, uh, and now I have this to go with it. And, and man, I'll tell you, the Vavor is quickly becoming the go-to place for uh, welding stuff for me. So I appreciate that. I'll leave a link where you can get your own. Take care.